Hey, it's Jen. In today's video, I'm going to show you some really cool local hiking trails. Some of them may just be a few minutes away from your house. I don't know about you, but being able to sneak outside for an hour or two has been a great way to see my friends this past year and sometimes even get one of my kids to come along. So come with me if you don't want to miss any of these great spots where you can go get some fresh air. First up, we have Paso Nogal Park in Pleasant Hill. It's more of a walking trail. Everything I'm gonna show you will be fairly easy. Usually there are a few hills to get you to the top and then they're pretty flat. See, if you don't already know me, I'm Jen Kogan. I'm a realtor with Dude and Real Estate Group. And I make videos about living in the East Bay and real estate videos for buyers and sellers. So be sure to subscribe. Next up we have one of the Briones hikes. This one is on Pleasant Hill Road, right across from Akalani's High School. Briones is over 6,000 acres. I can think of at least three trailheads or three entrances between here and Martinez where you can hike in Briones. I love this one just because it's right by Highway 24 and it's a really central place for me to meet up with my friends. What's cool about this hike is though, even though at first you can probably hear the traffic, as you get deeper in, the view really opens up. You could go on and on and on on this trail if you felt like it. I'm going to give you a better idea of the view. I was out of breath so the camera's a little shaky. All of the hikes I'm showing you are dog friendly. I think this is the only one where a leash isn't required. I've come across quite a few cows wander around this trail. I'm not sure how my dog would react off leash. Also keep in mind this can be pretty crowded on the weekends. This trail is called Akalani's Ridge and there are really cool panoramic views once you get up to the top. Most of the time you'll be on a pretty flat ridge that runs between Walnut Creek and Lafayette. I've driven past this spot so many times and never really had any idea just how pretty it is up here. One of my friends and I have been exploring this system of trails and entering from different sides. You can access this from Lafayette or Walnut Creek. On the Lafayette side there's a trail marker, it kind of looks like a little bus stop. It's on Pleasant Hill Road, but unfortunately the closest parking to there is a few blocks away. Another option is to park near Larky Park and walk in from the Walnut Creek side. There are several crisscrossing trails in here, and I don't think you'd ever get lost, but you might have to pay some attention to where you left your car so you can find it again. If you end up coming up here for the first time, I'd love to hear what you thought. This is Muir Farm. It's over 300 acres of oak woods and grasslands. Most people call it Mount Wanda. There is no mountain here, at least from what I've seen, so don't let the name scare you. The parking lot is about half block south of Highway 4 in Martinez, and there are two big loops, I'm being pulled by my dog, two big loops that you can take, and you can go as far as you want and then turn around if you decide not to go the whole way. Once you get up the first big hill, which is right behind me, goes on for about 10 minutes. It's mostly flat and there's a great view of the water between Martinez and Benicia. I always see kids on this trail. If they've studied John Muir, you can tell them this was the area he named after his oldest daughter, Wanda. And the John Muir house is just a few blocks up the road from here. It was so hard to decide the fifth trail for this video. There's so many great options. Now I'm going to have to find time to go out and try all the trails I've been researching and never been on. So we're here at Borges Ranch in Walnut Creek or Borges Ranch. I don't know how to say it. It's the last one we're going to look at. It's really pretty, like all these trails. And as a bonus, it has a historic ranch with some original buildings from the late 1800s. Lots of farm animals. You'll probably see cows all around these trails. And at the ranch, there's all sorts of animals like goats, pigs, chickens, sheep. This trail is really good for kids and dogs. The actual address here is 1035 Castle Rock. It's near Shell Ridge Open Space, or this is part of Shell Ridge. I'm not really sure how that works. This is very close to the Castle Rock Trail, which is super popular too. And this one has a different parking lot. From what I remember between the two trails, this one's a little bit easier. Castle Rock has really cool rock formations and you can't go wrong with either trail. 
So, that so that's five gorgeous local trails. Did I inspire you to try something new? What are your favorite trails around here? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to see you next time.